In this video, we're going to look at eight special tips on practices to follow to get the most out of your usage of the Camtasia library. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with videos and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Tip number one, only store assets in the library that will be reused. You don't want to store assets that are one-off creations that are only needed for a single project. This mindset will help you keep the library leaner and help with the performance of Camtasia. Tip number two, export files to LibZip format for sharing and portability. If you work on multiple machines or with others on a team, you can share assets by exporting them and then import back the updated versions if necessary. Tip number three, build your own assets and learn by leveraging templates. There are many cool assets inside Camtasia that you can modify to be your own. This is a great way to create new assets that you can use without having to invent the wheel again. Also, by copying and tinkering with these existing assets, you can learn a ton about animation and behavior techniques inside Camtasia. It's well worth the effort. If you haven't seen my video where I teach you all the ins and outs to do with behaviors in Camtasia, then check out the card above and you'll find the link in the description below as well. Tip number four, use third-party created assets. In addition to the assets given to you in Camtasia 9, there are other third-party resources for Camtasia ready assets. Check out the TechSmith Store Asset Marketplace. I've also included the direct link in the description below. Aside from the Asset Marketplace, there are also several other third-party resources out there that sell all kinds of assets for use in your projects. Tip number five, save some sequences as MP4 assets in the library. When you save a video sequence to the library, the entire video is saved. If the video is large or doesn't need to be altered in any way, consider producing the timeline selection as an MP4 video file and then save that to the library. This will also help with Camtasia performance. Tip number six, library cleanup. If you're quite active in using the library, it's good practice to periodically run the cleanup process. The cleanup will rebuild indexes, remove broken links, and update folders. The process can be found under Edit, Preferences, Advanced, Cleanup Library. Tip number seven, back up your projects. When we tinker with the library and we move assets around and do deletions, it's possible that you break some Camtasia projects. To protect the integrity of a project's assets, export each project as a Camtasia zipped project file so that all the assets are self-contained within the project's zip file. It's a good practice to back up your projects as you go so that there are no surprises should you accidentally mess up the library. Tip number eight. Bring library assets from Camtasia Studio 8 into Camtasia 9. Please note, for those of you that have both Camtasia Studio 8 and Camtasia 9, the library assets that came with Camtasia Studio 8 were not brought forward. So, if you wish to bring some of these assets into your Camtasia 9 environment, you'll need to export the assets from Camtasia 8 and then import them back into Camtasia 9. You will likely want to do a selective approach so as to not bloat the Camtasia 9 library with assets you may never use. That said, if you have existing projects that you will be migrating to Camtasia 9 that are dependent on some of those Camtasia 8 assets, or you just love some of the old assets, 
then it will make sense to migrate those assets. One additional note, the transparent alpha channel QuickTime MOV files in Camtasia Studio 8 are no longer supported in Camtasia 9, and so they will fail to import. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe icon on this page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.